Hello, my name is Kathy, and today I'll be teaching the Scottish song Corn Rigs Are Bonnie from the 52 Scottish Songs for All Harps book by Sylvia Woods. Okay. The rigs of the song refer to the traditional drainage system was, which was based on dividing fields into ridges around three feet high and then plowing them from end to end. The resulting furrows uh, then drained excess water from the land above it, in this case planted with corn and barley. The Annie from the song Corn Rigs Are Bonnie was reputed to be Annie Rankine. Annie was the youngest daughter of a tenant farmer, John Rankine, from Adam Hill Farm that lay two miles from the Robert Burns family farm of Loch Lea, and was a friend of Robert Burns, who is described by him as rough, rude, ready-witted ranking. Annie married John Mary, an innkeeper in Cumnock, on the 29th of December, 1782, and is buried in Cumnock Old Churchyard. She maintained she was the Annie from the song. However, some people thought that she was merely trying to encourage business at her inn in Cumnock. Her father was the brother-in-law to John Lapriac, the poet. John Mary died in 1802, and thereafter Annie ran the inn herself until she died in 1843. Burns lodged at the inn in August of 1786, four years after the song was written. She maintained until her death that she was the Annie of the Rigs of Barley, although she married in the same year that the song was written. She was sometimes escorted by Burns to her father's house from festive gatherings in the neighborhood. The poet was said to have been passionately fond of her, and indeed he made her a gift of a lock of his hair and one of the miniature paintings of himself, which she treasured all her life together with the song Burns himself is silent on the matter of the identity of the heroine. Robert Burns wrote The Corn Rigs Are Bonnie quite early in his career with the chorus. It is said that Annie met the poet soon after the song was published in 1782 and said to him that she had not expected to be celebrated in print, to which he replied, Oh, eh, I was just wanting to give you a cast among the lave. <laughs> in 1817, she was asked if she remembered nights with Burns among the rigs of corn and barley, and she said no, adding, however, that I mind many a happy night with him, though. She had lots of happy nights with him, though. I will teach the easy version first, and then the advanced version. Then I'll play the easy version with all the elements discussed, and then the advanced version. When performing this piece of music as a solo in public, it is nice to play the easy version and then immediately play the advanced version for a wonderful full-toned effect. And I will demonstrate this as well. Hello! Uh, when learning the piece, uh, this piece of music, clap and count out the right hand and the left hand and then learn it hands separately and put it hands together. Now Corn Rigs Are Bonnie is written in the key of G major so remember to engage all the F sharping levers before you begin this piece. Corn Rigs Are Bonnie is played all the way through using the first ending and then you return to the double bar line with the repeat sign in the middle of the piece of music and play the second half of the song again, finishing off with the second ending. All music has tells a story, and I'm not talking about the words of the song. Rather, I'm speaking about the music itself. In Corn Rigs Are Bonnie, the melody is in the right hand and the accompaniment is in the left hand, so make sure that the right hand melody is louder overall than the left hand. Now, in all music, there's a beginning, an ending, and a climax point, and we will discuss each of these elements now. In music, it is a general rule of thumb that when the notes of the melody, in this case the right hand notes, 
rise in pitch from lower notes to higher notes that the volume will increase and when the melody notes fall in pitch the volume will decrease. As a general rule of thumb the left hand of most songs will be the spot where the beat of the song manifests most strongly. In general the first note of each bar of music in the left hand is slightly emphasized to give a good strong beat and also the lower notes are emphasized slightly. Now this causes the playing of the piece of the music to have greater depth and contrast. At the conclusion of the piece will be a slight retardando or a slight slowing down of the tempo so that the listener can hear that the song is about to end. And this is the melody of Corn Rig Zerboni illustrating the climax points and the beginning, and the ending, and the retardando, and also the repeat from the middle of the piece of music to the end. second inning. Excellent. And this is the easy harp arrangement of corn, rigs, or bonnie. version of the corn rig zerboni more notes have been added to the left hand that gives it a fuller sound. Now corn rig zerboni is played all the way through using the first ending and then you return to the double bar line and the repeat signs in the middle of the piece and play the second half of the song again finish off in, finishing off with the second ending. At the conclusion of the piece will be a slight retardando or a slight slowing down of the tempo so that the listener can hear that the song is about to end. And this is the advanced version of the Corn Rig Zerboni.
a solo performance version of Corn Rig Zerboni, starting with the easy harp arrangement first, followed by the advanced harp arrangement. For now, to stay up to date with my latest videos, make sure to subscribe to this free YouTube channel by clicking the red subscribe button right below this video. Take care!